everyone and hello please welcome back to another vlog i have just been oh my god i feel like i'm being strangled um i've just been to get my nails sorted by jen my friend jen and then i'll come back i've took room out for a walk and she's getting a haircut next week i want to say so she's looking a bit like a mini llama at the minute show up on your fringe with all your hair show up on your fringe with all your hair see i look like a mini llama yes i do and now i'm gonna head off to the gym it's a leg session today and then i feel like it's always a leg session every time i come on here it's a leg session and then i'm gonna go for a walk with alex um, and grab coffees and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna polyfill some more like just like little bits and pieces like the holes like the little gaps if you can see them um and then i'm gonna clean up and then that way i can sand and everything tomorrow because we're waiting for a quote off the decorator and then we're gonna book the decorator in care mode our friend is coming next week to do the paneling on the hall stairs and landing we are getting paneling in the rest of the rooms but just like over time and then he's coming in a couple of weeks to do all the skating boards as well so what i need to do as well is measure the gaps and then whatever's the biggest gap because they all vary like you can see it the like that gap between the plaster and the floor is a lot lower than that one there so whatever's the tallest gap from the floor to the plaster board, we'll just go off that and we'll get that size skating board for the hall stairs, landing, living room and bedroom. And then, yeah, the decorator's gonna come in, paint all the ceilings all white, the walls the color that we choose. And then it'll just be a case of saving up for the radiators, saving up for the flooring, saving up for the front door. I've seen um, a few, but James has been in and sanded. Some bits and pieces in here i just need to go over the polyfill again and sand it again um but the internal doors downstairs have come out really well like they've got no marks on them so we're going to use them for upstairs and then the doors that we've got on here we're going to pick the best out of the bunch and use them too for the doors downstairs um let's have a little look because most of them are wrecked um I found this funky page on Instagram that does like all funky like glass stained doors and I just said to James like how would you feel about something like that for the for the front door and he was like I love it and I was like oh god but she does all different ones so or they do all different ones so I'm just gonna have a little look later on with James and then we'll either get just a beige door to go off with the black windows or we'll get stained glass I don't know yet but I'm going to go to the gym and then I'll catch up with you. It'll probably just be a quick snippet of me and Alex drinking coffees because we're just going to catch up on like hair life and everything. So, Okay, my lovelies. It is a little bit later in the day. No shock there. Um, yeah, I went to the gym, did a leg day. Really pushed myself today, so I'm quite proud of that. And then I came back to the house. I walked the dog. And then... Um, I went out for coffees with Alex, which turned into like a five mile walk, which was great. We had a proper good catch up. And then I forgot to vlog anything because we were catching up. And to be fair, we were going on about details that were like quite personal to like her life and my life. So we just thought, well, I just thought, nah. And then, um, yeah, came back, quickly cleaned up the kitchen and the living room Love guys. and then it was time to get a quick shower and then go and see our friend with her baby which was nice oh can't wait i'm gonna get rid of this in the wardrobes and i'm gonna get drawers because this just does my head in <laughs> and i feel like i get so many more clothes in three drawers than this one unit it was a good idea at the time but that time has passed but yeah and we just got back now and then now we're gonna um, go have chicken wraps which we've not had in ages and while i was at becky's seeing the baby 
um, which is so cute. And James got a little hold of the baby as well, and I fed her and winded her and everything. It was like, oh, so cute. She's got loads of her. She's fab. Um, Molly Mae just posted a video on YouTube, so we're going to sit down and watch that. What do you think has happened then with Molly Mae? I definitely think he's cheating because all of a sudden it's gone from like Zoe's wedding, happy families, engaged, baby, and everything to like like just split up. I'm hoping. No. You you watch golf on my YouTube. I guess we'll find out. Um. Tea's looking ten out of ten as well. We are two minutes in and she's already just said for the past two minutes how she's never planning on ever, ever, ever explaining what has happened and I get it because it is her life but at the same time I feel like just just say the reason why we split up like just like out of love or cheating or I don't know. Oh. You have to respect the decision. Now, let's put our Bryson to shampoo. So James is um, taking the remote and I'll have to watch Molly Mae tomorrow. There's and no what? point in watching it, is there? We'll watch something else. But I'm very happy we got chicken wraps. I just thought we were going to have chicken wraps and a bit of tea. Chicken wraps and a bit of tea, but no, Molly doesn't want to dish out the tea. <laughs> She has just said, I'm so sorry if you, if you sort of want an explanation. I'm like, yeah, we do. I wonder if she has signed an agreement to say that she's not going to see about it. But, to be fair. I don't think I want to talk about it either. I think I just want to carry on with my life. Because it's just going to fuel the fire then, isn't it? Like, with more headlines and more publicity and more, like... Molly said this and Tommy said that, like. Yeah, I don't know. Two rich people do things. Don't mind. Well, what do you want to put on now? Um. So I'll watch on Molly May tomorrow. Put back on. Bit of brassic. Yay, my little llama. She always sits really close to me when it's tea time or any food time. Good morning, friends. Um, Rizzles is currently on the landing outside, protecting the house from whatever may come up the stairs. I've made myself a coffee, a cranberry juice. Oh no, my avocados. <laughs> my avocados are um, over here with salt and chilli flakes and I think I'm going to watch the rest of ooh, Molly May's YouTube video. I've got so many YouTube videos to catch up with because I thought oh, I'll save them all for weeks before we went to Portugal with the girls because I was thinking right you know oh here you go yep yeah, because mum's avocados are on the bed no thank you you've had your breakfast you've literally just had it my little llama. Haircut week next week, isn't it? Um, yeah, because I was saving all of the YouTube videos for Portugal with the girls, but then we were either reading books or going in the pool because it was too hot or getting drinks or getting food or talking that I just didn't watch any YouTube videos, which is completely fine. But now I've got like a billion to catch up on. So I thought I might as well start with the one that I started last night and then <coughs> the plan today is and we'll see if it works my friend Alanya who I went out for drinks with last week has just text oh she is awake Um, she's 
she's just done nights last night and then she's back on nights tonight and we both work nights so but she does them a lot more than me um Yeah, she wants to go M and S, IKEA, and Starbucks, but she's literally been in bed for about an hour, and then she's back on another twelve and a half hour shift tonight, and she wants to go all them shops, and then she wants to get back for around about three so she can have a nap, but she'll need to leave for work about seven. Absolute insane woman who doesn't like sleep clearly. So I just text her and saying, "You sure you definitely want to go?" God. Okay, I'm all ready to go to Starbucks, M&S and Ikea. I'll see if we get that far because I'm pretty sure Alanya's absolutely exhausted. I'm going to take my cardigan with me just in case. A little black bag from Zara. I completely forgot that I had this dress. I think it's from either ASOS or Zara like years ago. And I've never ever wore it but it's the white and blue striped like little like play suit ordeal. And then I've got my ego sliders on and my sunglasses from portugal and yeah outfit of the day i always feel really safe in a play suit and you know what i mean when you wear like play suits that look like dresses because you think a bit of wind in a short dress you're like oh my god but in a play suit you're like no i know i'm safe i know i'm safe right i'm not sure how much footage i'm going to get but we're going to try and yeah my hair is really greasy and my makeup's rushed but I'm pretty sure I'm only going to be out for a couple of hours and then I'm hoping to come back, go to the gym, clean up the bathroom, bedroom and wardrobe room as per usual because we're so rock and roll. <laughs> Incoming my favourite part of Ikea, the plant section. For the vlog, I'm getting myself two new couch cushions. There's Alanya's couch cushions. <laughs> Don't tell Rob. It's a full on trolley. Not tell. Don't tell Rob there's all new couch cushions on his couch. I'll just put them on one by one. Okay. Like so you won't notice. Hide them, awesome. hide them in my house. I can only find one of said couch cushion. I'm going to drop mine. Um. <laughs> we'll ask, we'll ask. <laughs> At least it's a trolley full of cushions. Ooh, who's that girl? She's such a vibe. Is she? Is she a vibe? Is she? We hope so. <laughs> right, I'm gonna um, I'm back from shopping. I'm gonna go take Rue out. Where have you gone? Do you want to go for a walk? Come on then. This is what she does, she sits there. Yay! Let mama go get your lead. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna clean up. But I realized I didn't get the feather filled ones of these, but that's fine. And then some of the cushions are on here, the cushion covers, so they'll go on them ones. This, this is the one that broke, but obviously not this one, it's over on the side. I'm hoping I can fix it, I'm hoping. And then these are the new ones. So this one was from Next. These are only £14. This was great. And this one's from M&S. These were £19.50. So these were a bit more expensive. And then those white ones that are on the maiden, I'm thinking I'll put there. But then we'll go in couch shopping tomorrow because there's a big sale on. Yes, I know you're waiting. Look at my llama girl. Yeah, there's a big sale on in either. I think it's Sofa Club. I've got a 70% sale on tomorrow, like all weekend, on couches that have either been sent back or were display couches. And our couch is nice and I love the colour and I love what like, we were going for when we got them. But they're just not very deep, as you can tell, because all the cushions taken off. It's like literally you sit down and like that, that's it. You can't, there's no like, you can't relax into it. You can't really put your feet up or anything and our friends Jack and Becky have got a couch to die for it's so like deep you can probably snuggle into it everything so we're hoping for something like that and then obviously we're hoping if we can order one or get it on a payment plan the living room should be done by then as well and hopefully it'll put us on a bit of a time scale to get it done and then I got these 
from Ikea as well. I've seen a few TikToks on these and you, they're like little wall hangings. So I'm not quite sure if I do want to hang them on the wall or get myself some nice like coffee books, you know, for the coffee table that I don't have in the living room. And then put these on top of the coffee books, like one on the coffee table, one on the little shelves that I'm going to have with the coffee books as well. Like so cute. I like the textures. And yeah, this is the one that broke just not attached at all, so it's that strike. I might take my cardigan even though it's quite warm out. All right, let's put your lead on, Missy. Yay. Oh yeah, I'm also on this like, not a health journey, but like I wanted just to eat, Ooh, sorry bro, a bit healthier considering, you know, like I've just come off Portugal, we've got Cape Verde in like four months time. So I thought, eat a bit healthier, get a bit of a healthy balanced diet going. Um, I've had two iced coffees today, avocado on a bagel thin, you know, and then I've just had a raspberry and white chocolate cookie for lunch. Oh yeah, I'm having chorizo pasta tonight as well. Woo! And we've got chorizo pasta for tea. Here we have, Here we have cushions. I think I want new ones of these. New, new cushion covers for these. Thank you. And then there's the rubies, which we'll tear up in a bit. And then I've cleaned everywhere. Oh. So, clean, fresh bathroom. Let, let a bit of air in. <laughs> and then clean, fresh bedroom I, we didn't think there was much point in putting the cushions on because we're getting to bed in a couple of hours also i know we have this striped bedding on a lot we have got three sets of bedding and we tend to alternate between that white one and this one i said to jane should we put the other white one on he said no he likes the stripes so and then the wardrobe room all nice and clean as well and then to fit the plan in a little bit is we're gonna have tea now, and then we're gonna take Ruel on another WA OK. Try and get our steps in, and then chill out for the evening. And then the plan tomorrow is we're gonna go and try. Oh, I want to watch that Jack White or Fatherhood with my father, but it doesn't come out till September. Um, yeah, the plan is to go and look at those sale sofas. Wow. I'm excited to put these on top of coffee books. I need to send this camera off to be repaired. The, like, the back screen keeps on like trying to fall off and then whenever I press record on this or like on, the lens doesn't fully open. So I need to get it sent off to be repaired because it's doing my head in. Um, we're just, what are you gonna say? We're just getting ourselves ready because we're gonna go to that sofa club this afternoon and see if we can, have a little look at some couches that we like. Um, I'll try and record little snippets of what we like. Um, I found this old summer dress that I've not worn in a while. It's given schoolgirl slightly, but I do really like it. Um, because it's quite warm outside, thank God. And I think it might be the last weekend of our summer that's actually quite nice. Saying that September can be quite nice in England, so we'll see. I've also done my 5K this morning which didn't feel too bad actually and then I've bought some peppermint tea from shopping so I'm feeling like, you know, like extra healthy like I've done my gym session drinking my peppermint tea but then we are going to the cinema tonight to watch that trap that serial killer that goes to a concert with his child and then it's a whole like ploy to try and like get him so I'm probably gonna eat loads of sweets there which is fine Um James didn't get Oasis tickets that's why you can hear Oasis because he's trying to manifest getting Oasis tickets and I'm really gutted for him actually because he really wanted to go and I really wanted to go so hopefully we can get a different date I'm hoping he was one of the people that got suspended off Ticketmaster as well I don't know how that's a thing being suspended off Ticketmaster for being in a queue to try and see a band that you like didn't think that was a thing but I'm finally using my cute little um, I think this is a Zara mug i want to say either that or a and q one not being q b and m 
you know what it's not bad like i thought i was gonna be like but it's not bad actually um apparently it's really good for bloating and i bloat quite badly so that's why i want to try it but other than that it's been quite a slow morning had a coffee in bed with rue um gonna go see my nan in a bit as well yeah so there was my iced coffee in bed this morning and then i made the bed so we could go to the gym and that was rue's protest like no mum it's saturday you're supposed to be chilling in bed with me i know mm. i've just done my skincare i'm gonna um dry my hair now and then we'll go to see some couches we're on the way to go see the couches It's too big. No, it's great it stuff. Is. It's too big. It's great stuff. Typical bed. It's great stuff. It's everything yes. I think it's because I'm so small. Oh, what, this one? Very Kardashian. Someone's a bit indecisive. I love these ones, but you're not a fan. Oh, but you like the fluffy chair. I like these ones. I think these are great. Oh, I'm telling you now, I'd have these in a heartbeat. 100%. Well, we've been to look at a few couches and we like a lot of them, a good handful of them. You but like we're all um, of them. I know. Um, but we're a little bit unsure about which one to get. Plus, we went without measuring up the living room. Yeah. So that that didn't help either. So we'll measure up the living room. Uh, we've been to see Manan, Brenda. She's funny. Um, and then before we go to the cinema, we were going to go home and make food, but James decided to treat me. Um, no, we've not had um, a Nando's in a good time, and yeah, that's healthy. I, I buy a that's, that's right. sticking with my healthy theme today of peppermint tea in the gym. Which a Nando's chicken? Yeah, but you're gonna have chips and a garlic bread. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Happy now. <laughs> okay, Nando's was amazing as per usual. Um, I've not had a Nando's in years, but I got the Fino Pita with the mac and cheese which is again great some peri peri chips james got a butterfly burger peri peri chips and garlic bread and now we're gonna go to the cinema but i wanted to nip home dead quick because it's getting a bit chilly so my little cute little like summery dress is now being covered with my little granny cardigan which i love it's so cute so when i get all cozy i'm thinking i'm gonna buy a bag of chocolate buttons when I get in the cinema and then yeah watch trap and then we'll let you know what we think of it when we get back okay it is Sunday now so we went to go see the trap film last night which if I'm completely honest about like it just it didn't live up to expectations and I was really gutted I thought it was going to be like like about a serial killer and blah 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 but it was about a serial killer but there wasn't as much I don't know, like action in it as I was, as I was hoping. I thought he'd be like killing people left, right, and centre to try and get away from like the police and things, but it just wasn't. And it flitted from one place to another really quick, and it was just like I wasn't invested. Like and I'm normally really invested in my serial killers, so me personally, I'm happy to never watch it again because I've watched it now. And I'm just like, mm. but either way, I've been in work today on an extra hence the glosses and then i've just finished work and james nipped and um sized us up for some skating boards which we need quite high skating boards this time which i'm really excited for and then we went for to look at some 
paint samples well he got some paint samples for the house so we put some white on the wall and some paint samples but I'm not entirely too keen on any of these for this room because this is obviously minus everything else and the plaster and the fact that it still needs sanding a little bit and decorating and cleaning and you know new window and everything this will be our future baby's room so this to me is quite important on the decision even though you know i might change my mind completely on the color of this room when we have a baby i just feel like i don't know i don't know it just it just feels like a important decision and then on the holsters and landing thinking of egyptian cotton again because it's going to be white panelling which the panelling's getting done on tuesday and then hello and then the color and then it's going to have the white ceiling but you need to chase up the decorated tomorrow don't you so we know when we can book him in for yes boss yes boss yes yeah and you were the one who took on the decorator i was happy to paint and decorate myself but i think james is Mum and dad were feeling a bit bad and the fact that, you know, we're hardly getting anywhere with the house. So they said, we're more than happy to pay for a painter and decorator for all year to come and do the house. So we're very, very grateful and we're very excited. So we're a bit at a, cause he's obviously gonna need to know the color that we want things. So that's hence James getting the paint samples today. He picked cookie dough, which I'm thinking is a bit too orange. But to be fair, on the little sample card, it said it was going to be this colour. There's a bit of a difference going on. I did pick this dark green colour, but I'm thinking it's just giving a bit navy vibes, like the army. And then I thought originally soft truffle, but I don't think it's going to be too dark. And then the natural hessian is actually the one that we tried in our bedroom that actually came out pink that we forgot about. Egyptian cotton again, but we don't want to go with Egyptian cotton in our bedroom horses and landing and the living room and then that's knotted twine which i do actually quite like knotted twine so that could also be an option but yeah that's our life at the minute it's just decided paint colors skirting board height arranging people again but yeah i'm gonna edit this vlog in a little bit in bed because it is sunday and i'm back in work tomorrow but I'm gonna get myself in a nice bath. Now I'm gonna light a candle. I'm gonna turn the light off and put my little mood setting light on. Light my candle, do a face mask, chill out in the bath for a little bit since I've done an extra in work. Watch a bit of YouTube and then we're having fajitas for tea tonight but yeah um we've not decided on a couch well we know what style of couch we want we're gonna go for that um i can't remember the name of it now broadgate something like that um on the sofa club but they have a, like a brown color like a top and then they have a black colour as well. So I've ordered the swatch samples and I thought we'll paint the room. We'll get the feel for it. I've got a sample of the flooring that we're going to have as well. So I thought if I just put it all together in like a little mood board thing. Because I'm not opposed to black couches. And I'm not opposed to brown couches either. So either one I'm happy with. But it just has to go with the theme and like the tonal of the living room. Like I don't want it to be all like calm and light and airy and then stick a black couch in it because it'll be like oh jeez but at the same time then I don't want it to be like too samesy with like brown everywhere so we'll see we'll see but I hope you're all doing okay I hope you've had a good week I hope you can have a start a good start to a fresh week and yeah I hope you're also relaxing and taking care of yourself in between work or maybe renovating yourself or I don't know just life in general 
looking after yourself like i said i'm gonna get a face mask now and a bath post shift and then james is gonna cook the fajitas because i am tired but i will see you guys all very soon and i hope you're all doing okay please ignore the state of me i've just escaped the thunderstorm rain that we've got going on but i will see you all very soon